Health and insects and insect experts say this year's tick season might be the worst one in years. 22 News reporter Ciara Speller tells us about a rare tick-borne disease doctors are seeing this year. Nicer weather means spending more time outdoors, which could put you at risk of getting bitten by a tick. Massachusetts Department of Public Health says after being outside, you should look along your hairline, inside your ears, and even between your toes for ticks. They're also urging everyone to take tick bites seriously if you find one on yourself. Recently, a five-year-old little girl was temporarily paralyzed by tick paralysis, and now health officials are urging everyone to know the symptoms of this illness. 22 News went to Bay State Medical Center to speak with a doctor about this rare disease. We learned that usually when a tick is feeding, a germ or bacteria is passed, but with tick paralysis, it's different. It's a, what we call a neurotoxin. And so the salivary gland of the tick will have this neurotoxin, it will get into the child's body and essentially block the nervous system at the level of the muscle. O'Reilly said it's important to be seen right away if you might have been exposed to a tick bite and have trouble walking or feel weak. He also said tick paralysis is one of the less serious tick-borne diseases and that once that tick is removed, the temporary paralysis should be gone within a day. CR Speller, 22 News.